Hey guys, it's Simsong321 here, and I completely s forgot about something that Sony Vegas has. Okay, so for a um, school project, sort of, I have to show a video, and I just needed to cut a few parts out in the video. As you can see here, I have a little bit of cutting I've done, and um, pretty much I needed to edit it, or like save it as well and render it, right? So I thought I would save it. Okay, it's it's only like a 360p video or 480. It's, it's a very old video, as you can see from the quality. It's just horrible, kind of. But um, I'm just looking around because I know Sony Vegas likes to likes to eat up hard drives a lot, and just with all the space it takes up usually. So at first I thought I'd save it as like a 720p video, and I would consider this like because it's only a 360, you know, just get it over with with no like audio issues or anything like that. So I leave it overnight. I wake up in the morning. And then I see the computer still on because I told it to shut down. So for some reason it was still on. And then I move the mouse. I go over here to the screen and it says uh, not enough space. I'm like, what? I have about a, here 100 and you cannot see that for some reason. But that the, the SSD says 150, 115 gigs free of my 180. And so, yeah, because I saw it would take like a long, long ass time. So I got really ticked off. I, would, I thought I had to redo all this. And I checked how much the video file was. It was 111 gigs. I got so mad about how much space it took up. So I just dumped that out of here. And I completely forgot about an option. I mean, I'm running this thing off of an i7. Core i7. 3770K overclocked to 4.3, I believe, gigahertz. Yeah, sorry, 4.4 gigahertz. So, and why is it not focusing here? Hold on. Stupid camera. Can't focus. Well, anyway, 4.4. And so, I got pretty ticked off that I would have to redo all this. And I completely forgot about um, an option called uh, Render with CUDA. I'll show you just in a bit. And look at the speed, like how much difference. I mean, I'm only rendering this as a, as a 360p video internet file. But you will even see that um, if you have a higher end graphics card, it is so much worth running it off a graphics card with CUDA. And why it's worth even getting an NVIDIA card in the first place. And, um, and yeah. Alright, so I'm just on my uh, Alienware laptop. Right now, and I just I got Vegas 12 Pro. Same thing. I'm just the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm still waiting for my thing to load. It's at 69% right now, and it says about 15 minutes, but so I'm not gonna bother waiting. Um, I actually got more CUDA cores on my uh, 335M, as you can see, 72 uh, CUDA cores, which is just awesome. So okay, close that. Let's go to um, open up Vegas. I already have opened up Vegas, and let's just open up here. Put in a video from my old uh, go kart videos. Sure, match the project stuff. This is off of me, uh, Sony Ericsson camera. Some more. So All right, cool. So that works. Um, so if we go to here, this is how it's done. Preferences, and we go to uh, video. So we want to go to video, and then we go to GPU acceleration. Well, I guess it doesn't support it here, but if I uh, it would show, like, say, your uh, graphics card right here. Really? It doesn't support it? GPU acceleration? That's weird. What about... Okay, well, anyway, also another thing. You should go to render as. And let's just say we want to put it as an internet file for... Where is internet file? I'm in one place. I think in one place, right? Oh, main content folks. And internet, let's go 480p wide. And you go to customize template you will find, there we go, encode mode. There we go. And this is where you go to actually render it. So if, say, we do CPU only, let's go and render it. Look how slow it, it goes, right? As you can see, even in the video preview, and time's still going to be calculating, right? Like, I, this, this video clip is only two minutes long, two and a half minutes, a little bit more than two and a half minutes. Look how slow that is. And then we wanted to do customize templates and let's render it as render using CUDA if available. I mean, your system has to obviously uh, have CUDA enabled. So let's enable render. And yeah, it is doing it a bit faster. I think it is a CPU bottlenecked a bit, but as you can see, it's already at 3% for calculating, right? So it's going much faster than what it was before. Um, so let's go to performance, 
Oh wow, Vegas definitely uses up. Okay, well I can't show you the difference in CPU wise because my thing is just getting clocked, like dead clocked. So okay, eleven percent. I left it for about like so what two or three minutes. So let's let's just see. The video is just being so slow after a while. Like it's gonna take a de look eight minutes already, and I was only like what four or five minutes remaining. Yeah, so you you guys can see the point where it's just much much more you know faster. So I hope you guys kind of uh, enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in this section below. And uh, I will be making more videos, uh, hopefully, on GTA, product reviews, all of this good stuff. Yeah, of course, the products and all that. I'll be updating new videos about all, all that. I might be making an entire review on the Alienware M11X. This is the first version of it. But it's still pretty good, so, um, yeah. Uh, please rate and subscribe. Thank you.